So, symbol the island is shown. It says shown. So to do so, we need to take these two pieces. out and make a do stuff So, that's step one. Assemble board as shown. Step two. Place Volcar, actually it's still step one. Place Volcar in his rightful spot atop the island facing the helipad. Here is Volcar. star bottom. Star shaped bottom. That star shaped bottom goes on the you know I should move that little this little thing. There you go. This little star shaped bottom. It's on a little star shape. Right there. Can't find it on there. There it is. Star shape bottom. Line it up. Save it in space. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that easier. There he is. Face is helipad. So since that's going to be upside down, TV will turn the whole thing around. I'm also seeing how to set this up to look right. Hello. 
Oh, it's on the, the patio where it, last night the cats were digging into stuff. That's all the shit I need to get rid of in the So the cats were digging into it and. I take it Dawson was there and his bike came home. Dawson's here. He's oh, in he his didn't room. do. No. To me. I have Panda Express for dinner. Hey, what? Panda Express for dinner. Yes, it's oh, early sweet. now. Okay, sweet. Let me, I'm gonna set this game up because we're gonna I'm gonna play it tonight on Twitch. At... Well, that's an interesting way to pee. Your cat, her entire front of her body is out of the box, and her back half is in the box. Your cat. Oh, my. my cat. When she does that, she's my cat. All right. Well, you might hear about now, Heidi, that I'm twitching. So, you might hear that on screen. But that's all good, right? Okay, step two. Put the two bridges and the ladder in their designated spots. Show you what the bridges and ladders look like. What's that showing all? Just the, just the glare. Hmm. Anyway, bridges and ladders. Ladder. where the ladder goes. bridge we look at the board for the other bridge and where the other bridge is ah right next to it Seven trees in their sockets. you to put them in. Oh, there is. With their roots turned towards the mighty Volcar. All right. Here's the mighty Volcar. Here's his root. This is... Get it. Uh, 
that's the root. So there's the root. Turn the root towards the mighty Volcar. There we go. There's one tree with one root. See the trees that what the roots end up doing is blocking the blocking where the marbles go. But they of course aren't card called marbles. Let's see. So step two, put six orange ember marbles on their spaces and one red fireball marble in the scar. Okay, so spaces for ember fire marbles look like this. See that one here. That's gonna be going in the background. That is about to kill me. Six ember marbles. Up, oh, that's not an ember marble. That's a fire. Oh, let's see. That's a red. Three, four. Five. Six. Okay, six ember marbles, okay. They are supposed to go in their spots. One, two, three, four, five. You can see here where the printing is rolled off just a little bit. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. There. So it's kind of the. You can tell they actually printed it on this plastic, and then they probably ran it through a vacuum mold. Um, and sometimes probably got off a little bit. Well, apparently I got one that's a little bit off. One, two, three. Oh, wrong color. And the scar is this part of the board down here. Here's the scar. And can you see it on there? I guess not. Anyway. Put the heart of Volcar in the looming shadow of Volcar. Okay. Here's Volcar. Car. 
Riveting TV right here. There's Volcar. The jewel of Volcar. Right there. It goes in the space. Marked with a little jewel symbol. This camera does not aim right. That's funny. That must be why someone got rid of it. There it is. Yeah, it's because I'm trying to do it backwards on the TV. All right. So it goes right here. That is one of the prime things to capture. You'll notice it's just really a weirdly shaped. I don't know if it was supposed to look like a fancy crystal. It's nice, it's plastic, it's not even. I don't think it's supposed to be even. Okay. This is just odd. Weird camera. Um, shuffle the treasure tokens and randomly place them face up on the treasure slabs. All right. These are the treasure tokens. So if we're gonna shuffle them, we'll just stick them in our hand, which will count as shuffling. We'll pull them out as we get them. Now the treasure spots, they almost look like speedometers, little circles with dots around the edges. These treasures, you just basically go by and you pick them up when you're next to one. But if you match symbols, the more of one type of symbol you have, the higher your points at the end. So let me show you what these treasures here they look like that. Little dots. Yes, those dots. So I think it might be fun to play with the treasure tokens actually face down so you can't see what they are. But but it also affects how you go around the board depending on what tokens you want. Because at the end of the game you win as long as you've escaped the island, which you have to wait until the helicopter shows up. We haven't made the helicopter yet. But um, the helicopter will show up on the helipad right there. And you see these all over the board. Not looking at them before I put them down. Just feeding them out of my hand. Now, there's certain ones you can kind of tell where they're supposed to be gotten. Um, sometimes just because the way the board's molded, it's hard to tell where you're supposed to get them. Actually, what's that? That looks like a little spot that must be for a something to roll down there. River there. A blue spot. I wonder if there's another expansion for blue dots. And it looks like I have all of the 
pieces. Oh, here it is. So in front of the spaces is a little um, little jet, um, set of triangles, inter intermeshed triangles. That shows you where you're allowed to pick up the treasure. So like this treasure here, you can't pick it up there, but you can pick it up there because it has little treasure marks. And you see this is the board that kind of slid off. So in this one here, you can see that. That's for that treasure right here. Exciting. See. You're playing with expansions, maybe leftovers. Well, we're not. Place the maw out. This is the maw. Here, show you there. That is the maw. little holder and then we will place it right here where my drink is how's this well you know what yeah they have it on the opposite side of the helipad but it probably works best right there because you need it for the helipad um, place, place cataclysm tracker next to the scar Here's the Cataclysm Tracker. Okay. It goes right here, but you know what? That's not going to leave us much space. You think I can move this without knocking down all of the things? Eh, I did. Okay. There's the Cataclysm Tracker. Got a nice little channel right there. That'll keep track of the cards. They're Cataclysm cards, which um, are kind of one of the time timekeepers of the game. Let's see. Place the tracker, put the remaining three fireballs into it. Well, we must have scored because we have an extra ball. I will put in the Ziploc. Each player takes figure, matching reference card, places their figure on the helicopter. Well, where's the helicopter? I don't know yet. So we'll start with everybody on it. That's the helicopter. Over to the side of the board where it will sit nicely. Getting ready to land on the helipad. Um, the reference cards. Each one. Separate these out. Here are their reference cards. Tough to see. Let's see. Oh, they're not there. You're right there. Reference cards. Um, they all are the same. They say. Basically, have the rules on your turn. If you're knocked over, do not are knocked over or not on a path space. Fix your figure. Then you play an action card. You must move a 
the full amount. You may do the action. Then you draw your hand back up to two action cards. Return all the marbles and reset all the unstable spaces. Let's put those where. You know what? Let's make some space at the front of the board. I will slide this stuff backwards. Again, I'm mostly just setting this up right now for when we play tonight. We will play at nine ish Pacific Standard Time. That's pretty much the whole thing. Okay. Set the snapshot cards face up the side of the island. So those are these. are four for each color and two for each space so they actually don't get shuffled they are they look like this oops actually that's the one's the back side of it um, yeah, skeleton head beach Blister Run, so each color each is actually um, like a zone for yellow that's over here, there's the zone, oh, did they separate them? You know what's going on with the Atlanta Braves and the St. Louis Cardinals? You know what? Series is tied two to two, so they're not playing against their last game. Right. I'm not sure what inning it is, but St. Louis has 13 and Atlanta has one. <laughs> not going well for Atlanta. I'll be in there in a sec. Okay. I think that was my wife saying that she wants to watch baseball with me, which sounds kind of fun. Um, let me put these cards over here. Let me see those. Is that on the board? Yeah, they're on the board there. Then we've got are these Fireball Island cards. What are they? Oh, these are the souvenirs and such. Shuffle the souvenir cards, deal one face down to each player. Well, that'll happen in a minute or when we start. Also, oh, we'll place them here. Why don't we put these here? I'll slide everything back just one other smidge. That's about perfect. There. There. Shuffle the action jet deck. We're going to get two. And then the youngest player will end up going first. These are. What are these things? Little fireball things. Let's look up what that is. Two tokens for the two player game. So these are for the two player game. Dawson is so good. He remembers that the two player game was slightly different. Um, what else? We didn't put on the island when we were supposed to. They did not tell us in the setup. So we should put these 
little sideboards. you put the little sidebars in it's a gaping hole in the island look at that hole island island hole all right and as you tip over it's actually the bottom of the ninth that was over from the first inning they said the cardinals got 10 runs in the first inning really so Atlanta's trying to get 13 runs in an inning? Yeah, it's the bottom of the ninth inning. They're down to their last out. Okay. And this one goes right here to complete the look. So that the front side looks like that. And there, that. That, <laughs> get that close. <laughs> um, that's the setup for Fireball Island, The Curse of Volcar. And we'll be playing that tonight at 9 o'clock. So, I'm going to. Like 20 minutes with a little blurb and then probably shut things down, let the equipment rest.